Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, nice to be here with you. Some of you I know from previous events. Before we get into what you really came to talk about and see and experience the product, we think, well, obviously, we want to give you the requisite uh, business update, so that's my role today. Um, and I'm going to be going back and forth between group and brand, so you have to pay attention, all right? Because uh, I think it's important that we cite the group that we're in and the performance overall. I mean, it's, it's a fantastic group. It, it continues to blow me away when you think about the breadth and depth of our group from from MAN all the way down to Ducati motorcycles and everything in between from Porsche, Seat, which we don't have here, Skoda, Lamborghini, Bentley, Bugatti, and obviously Volkswagen, so pay attention. Now, uh, I think what I'd like to start with this chart here, which shows the performance year over year, and uh, it's, it's pretty respectful, I think, uh, because as you, what you can see here is that uh, regardless of the market that we're competing in, we're basically outpacing the market, even in those markets that are suffering, you know, some deterioration due to, uh, you know, economic uh, influences. We're still being impacted less than the industries in general. So uh, I think that's, that's pretty respectful, and it shows the breadth and depth of our group, I think, and it also shows our focus on product because at the end of the day, we are a product-centric company. I think this is an important chart too. Again, this is looking at the group results now, but. Um, if you go all the way back to 2004, um, you know, that's really when the strategy that we have in place today that's delivering the results we're seeing in this market and other markets started to take shape. Now we call that the Mach 18 strategy because we want to culminate that with 2018 business results and we'll talk more about that in a couple of slides. But um, if you look at the performance of the group back then when this you know, strategy started to take shape and Dr. Mintercorn outlined the objectives for the group in general. Um, we've grown almost four and a half million units per annum, uh, and that's quite a lot. Four and a half million units, that's, that's more than many manufacturers by itself. Uh, so I think that's pretty respectful. And what you, look at, what you, what you see here it is, um, as, as Scott likes to point out a lot, it, it's now in terms of you know, overall performance uh, of the various groups, it's now turned into a, a three-horse a three race, if you will. Uh, and again, you can see here in terms of year-over-year -year performance, we're, we're outpacing uh, our two closest competitors, Toyota and General Motors. So I think pretty significant. We're, we're not finished there. I mean, we'll continue on. Um, and we want to achieve the, tar the targets that our, our management, Dr. Winterborn, has outlined. Uh, and there, I'd like to point out, too, it's not only about quantity. It's also about quality, the quality of the business, the quality of the customer interaction.